I really did want to ask you about the magical, magical video that you made with Julius, who's <laughs> filming you again right now. Totally. Um, I, I saw that video of you doing that song with, it was Miles mm-hmm. is on your hip on that as you're, as you're looping and singing. And it's one of the most interesting multitasking music videos <laughs> I've ever seen. Um, it's, you know, it's just charming in general. The song itself is pretty enchanting. But the thing that struck me about that that I really loved and um, forgive me, like I'm getting slightly personal here, but um, you know, you are just like in a t-shirt, you know, there's no, there. it's not, there's no glamorous lighting going on or anything. You look like a mom that's real busy, which Mm -hmm. you are, Mm -hmm. and you got your baby on your hip and you're making art. And I just... I just think that's fantastic because I think as a society, we tend to tell parents and women in particular that they're supposed to compartmentalize these things. You know, you're a mother over here, an artist over here. And there was something I found honestly very touching about seeing those things together. How has this process been of you connecting back with your art after having Miles? That's such um, that's such a perfect question. And it, it's it oddly uh, has come up a lot today, specifically um, in this moment when um, I was born and raised here in Tucson. And um, I remember being a little kid before it was second Saturdays, it was downtown Saturday night. And my mother would take me and my brother Matthew to downtown Saturday night. And I remember one specific time we were outside of the cup. She's She was very cool. There are pictures from the 90s. She's very stylish woman (laughs) and my brother and I were talking and this woman came and she said this is it is too late it is too late for you kids to be out and I remember thinking to my head I was like what that's so that that seems so odd because I didn't feel it was too late and my mom didn't feel it was too late and she was in that moment and in that night unbeknownst to me or all of this stuff is but that I I wanted to be downtown and I knew it and I wanted to play at the Rialto and I wanted to be in this place called Congress and I wanted to walk and be downtown as much as I could. And I remember my mom just kind of being like, these kids are allowed to be here. They can be here anywhere. I'm their mom. They're with me. And I I like your mom. She's wonderful. (laughs) And she's at home right now hanging out with Miles so that I can like be down here and do this. And it's, it's it's true. It's like just because you're a parent doesn't mean that your life stops. It doesn't mean that you can't create art. And if you need help, reach out because there are people who want to help you make well, it. Well, and also I would say by extension from what you're kind of articulating out there and then what's also exhibited in the video is it's perfectly fine and perhaps encouraged. Have the kids around you while you're creating. Totally. Why on earth not? Right, yeah. You have know? them uh, uh, learn how to respect uh, expensive big equipment, you know? <laughs> yes. It's true. And there will be mistakes and sometimes there are big ones, but that's okay. That's part of it, you know? And I think kids should be everywhere. That's yeah. my thought. And I uh, have my mom to thank for that. So. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> well, thanks again so much for coming in. Congratulations on this great opening slot at the Rialto this evening. You must be excited. I'm so it excited. It seems like it. <laughs> uh, we have time for one more song if you're ready to do one last one. Sure. Hana. Mm. Hana, mm, 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 Hana, Ma
Local artist Jillian Bissett live on the home stretch on KXCI from Historic Hotel Congress. Jillian opening for Lake Street Dive across the street at the Rialto this evening.